I always got the samples. So they got shampoo, conditioner, lotion, all that stuff, soap. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I'm not trying to really overload you guys with a lot of military videos, but because of the people around me wanting to join and I'm not gonna be here and things like that. I feel like the best thing I could do is to make videos explaining the whole process I was on so you guys could feel more comfortable. Or if you have any questions, I could address and have my opinion for it. Because when I was starting, before I actually went to boot camp, I had messages like every single person I knew that was in the military who wasn't. And that's how it led to me finding a recruiter and the whole process. And um, I'm just here to spread knowledge that I know in my videos to have everybody feel more comfortable. So first off, I'm um, actually just get a little motivation talk here real quick before I start. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, I just want to say, make sure you guys are taking risk at our age that will take you to another level, if it makes sense. Um, jump for what you want to do, take the opportunities. Um, if you have ideas, Put them into action. Don't wait on anybody, honestly. Only you could really do it. Um, I have friends that you know, they have a clothing brand and they've been waiting years. It's just been an idea and they haven't started yet till now. And um, I'm proud of them. But that's just an example, you know. When you have ideas like that, opportunities, take it. Try and jump and, and, and do research and just get a grasp for it and learn what you're doing and, and push to get it done because that's what you want. I hate saying that I can't do something unless I'm trying. It doesn't hurt to try, if it makes sense. Nothing is worth not trying. Cause you never know what it will take you. You could lose to learn or you could win to win. Or want to win, understand? Win to won. Lose to win, actually no. Lose to learn, win to won, if you understand what I'm saying. So, it doesn't hurt to try in life. Um, try doing anything, man. Anything it takes. You feel like you're stuck. Take the ideas in your head instead of sitting around and telling everybody else about it. Take the ideas and actually do research and jump and do them. So, people around me actually see me do a whole bunch of things, but that's my opportunities that I have. I'm doing them because I'm trying. I'm, I'm exploring that knowledge, taking that leap. I've done so much things Selling candy in high school, working seven days a week in high school, just because I wanted something, because I'm trying, because I have a dream, I have a belief, it's something that I, I'm passionate about. So much things, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Maybe after I'm in the military and you know, I'm really trying, and I'm comfortable talking about all of it. Really sit down and try. All right, so now, the military stuff. Um. So after finding out the, doing research on YouTube, YouTube was the best, I watched every single video on YouTube. I found out I was going to the Air Force and then I started going on my Facebook and I found everybody that is in the military and related branch to me and is in the opposite branch. Seeing people say that, or they're in the Army, they wish they joined the Air Force. Seeing people that are in the Marines said they would have either joined the Air Force or the Marines. People in the Navy said they, they they wish they were in the, in the Navy or um, Air Force. So it's like back and forth, but majority of the time, everything was pointing at the Air Force, for me especially, like I said in the other video before. And um, one person gave me a recruiter that's actually local and helped them get through the military, sign up and everything. So I ended up going there and then um, every military branch is gonna give you a pretest for your ASVAP. So they put you in the back room, you have no phone, no calculator, and it's about what, 10, 20 questions? It takes about 20 minutes. It's just a pre-quiz of the ASVAP to see where your scores are at. For the military, for the Air Force, I had to get about, I think it was a 30, and I passed that. And then after that, they do like a pre-scanning of like your record. They ask you any questions about have you smoked, have you drank, all that extra stuff to see if you're qualified for the branch. And then we just got through the process, bring all your documents, and then 
I ended up going to MEPS. I was like, what is MEPS? Like, so I went on YouTube, did a whole bunch of research. MEPS is basically where they go to process you medically, they examine your whole self, and you also take your official ASVAB test. So, recruiter told me on Monday, nine o'clock in the morning, be at the recruiting place. Um, you're going to Miami for MEPS, you're gonna stay in a hotel for two days, and you'll come back. So, MEPS is actually really boring. It's a little cold, so bring a jacket. Um, it's just processing, really. It's like almost like the DMV for two days. So, I woke up that morning, went on the bus. Every city we're stopping, so West Palm, I'm not gonna say it anymore. After, I'm not gonna say any more places out there. I don't wanna already say the, the, the MEPS building I went to, but West Palm is, a, I'm gonna say. Went to all the cities, and then, um, that Monday, I had to take my ASVAB test first. I took my ASVAB test and my TAPS, T-A-P-S, it's like a personality test online. And then uh, we, after that, I had to go back to the hotel. For me, what I packed when I was going to MEPS was, I brought a backpack, I brought like a pair of clothes to wear when I go to sleep, my phone, my charger, um, a bottle of water, what else? Uh, like a little snack as well, like like something you could bring to snack on. Uh, what else? Um, toothbrush, a pen. You could bring your laptop too if you wanted to. Uh, and your cameras, they don't really care. Because the maps, they check your bags, like a security check. -ins. But once you get to the hotel, you actually get a lot of stuff. Um, that's why I say you don't really need to bring much. I think I have some stuff right here. You need to bring toothpaste as well. Um, when you get to the hotel, they have, you know, hotels always got the samples. So they got shampoo, conditioner, lotion, all that stuff, soap. Um, yeah, I kind of like took them. I've been to MEPS a couple times, so I just took, I should just started taking them. But, yeah, you see. So, you get those. You don't gotta bring shampoo, conditioner, soap, or anything like that, really. The, the hotel provides it for you, it's free. Um, I got to the hotel and then I sat down um, in this like lobby, like club thing. They got Xbox, PlayStation, they got TVs, they got pool ball, they got foosball and uh, they check you in. And then at nine o'clock before you go to sleep, you gotta meet down there. She's gonna explain to you what you guys are gonna do the next morning. And then she also tells you guys that um, you have a lunch pass. so. I think it's about like seven o'clock, eight o'clock. You're supposed to go to dinner, and you have a little, a little like paper, and you bring it to dinner, and they give you a menu, and you can pick what you want to eat. There's like cheesecake. There's a thing called the Freedom Burger. There's there's a whole bunch of things I can't remember, but I recommend you get the Freedom Burger. It's more fulling. It's, it's honestly I miss the burger right now. It tastes pretty good, but I got Freedom Burger every time. I get the Freedom Burger. Um, you eat that, you could get a dessert as like cheesecake or some other type of pie, but I got cheesecake. And you can get whatever you want to drink. And then that's the only time you can eat. You only can eat once. That's why I say bring a snack, because at night, you know, you can snack on it or in the morning. So after that, you know, you gotta go back to your room, you gotta go to sleep. You gotta wake up at like, I would say 3.30 in the morning to, to be downstairs at four and at four, she checks you in again, and you guys have breakfast. And by about 5.30, four, six or so, you guys are done with breakfast. They have everything at breakfast. They got bacon, everything you could think about for breakfast. They have it down there. Orange juice, everything, eggs, bacon, sausage. You go like that, and then you walk in a line with everybody else. They put you on a big bus, and then they drive you back to MEPS. And that day, I actually, um, that day in Memphis, I had to go into the building and I did my medical work where they take your blood, they take your vision, your hearing, uh, they examine your whole body. It's weird. They examine your whole body for any scars, bruises. Basically, they want to tally up everything that's going on with you so you can't lie to them. They have proof that you're physically capable of going through BMT and the military in general. Um, what else? Uh, the doctor part about it is very weird. Like, you get in your boxers and then 
he just tells you turn around, spin the bend over for one second, and then you gotta go into the other room with a whole bunch of dudes. That's what I had to do. Go into a room with a whole bunch of like six dudes in their underwears. We ran around in a circle. We did like certain things with our arms and workouts like this, like to to just show that we're able to get through BMT. Um, and it took all day from like six to like I wasn't done till like two. A lot of waiting. It's cold upstairs. Um, at like ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at Meps, they always have lunch, and I tell you, lunch is bad. Like. It's cold. They, like they give you a sandwich, a dry cold sandwich with like ham or turkey, and you get an apple. You get yeah, water bottle, and it's just like it's not the best. But you have to eat something if it makes sense. My 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 point at that time, I had to eat something because I was literally like I had ate so much during breakfast that by the time it came to the part for me to get weighed in, I was actually like underweight by a pound and I had to eat that sandwich and drink a lot of water and eat the apple to be above and be on the mark that I need to be. So that was my problem when I was getting in. It was like, I had to gain weight. I was 128, now I'm like 140. And I had to actually like eat a lot of rice, like a lot of fried rice, Chinese fried rice, anything with carbs and protein. So I didn't run, I can't run or I'm gonna lose at all. So. That was my that was my point in Meps that first week, and I just gotta like get through that. And I did. Um, once the physical was over, uh, waited in the lobby till the shuttle came back outside, and then we came back home. Stopped at every point, and then came back home. So make sure you bring your headphones as well. Um, it's just very tedious and patience and. You have to, it's like the DMV. You also have to have manners in there. Like they tell me to say yes sir, yes ma'am to everybody. And if you don't say it, you'll get in trouble. You'll get sent back home. Uh, what else? Yes sir, yes ma'am to everybody or you get sent back home. They, can, they have the right to send you back home. Don't act like, don't act a goof. They'll send you back home. I seen them do it to people when I was there. Um, that's really it about MEPS. You know, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Uh, I think I went to MEPS about three times. So, yeah, three times. I went to three times. I went to three times. Yeah, I went to MEPS three times. Yeah. So, everything's paid for. You really don't have to bring any money, but it's good too because they have snap machines in the lobby. Um, they, have, they have a gift shop in the hotel. Uh, it's very chill. You know, you're, you're on your own. It's, it's very weird. Uh, in the hotel, I forgot to say, in the hotel, you actually have two beds in the hotel room and you're sleeping in the room with someone you never met before. But he's considered your battle buddy when you're at the hotel. So if you guys walk around, it's most likely someone that's been there multiple times so you have experience, so they can help you. But like, it's very weird. It's like, you gotta wake up each other and then you gotta make sure you guys are in the same place at the same time where both you guys get in trouble. It's, 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 it's weird, but I got, I got in the habit of it. It's like the third time. And everybody's been cool as hell so far. So, um, yeah, you guys. So, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, I'm active. I'm gonna be, I'm on active duty Air Force person now. Um, once I get out of BMT, I'll be posting more about traveling. Not really so much military. Just my life from being a military person. And, uh, just the journey in general, you know. This is for like anybody to see that's, you know, interested, you know, the whole process wasn't as scary as, you know, growing up it seemed like, and, you know, just take the jump, man. If, I don't ever want that day where it comes like, I should have done this, you know what I'm saying? I should have took the risk. I should have done it. And, you know, just gotta make sure you know what you're doing when you do things like this. Do your research. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And uh, all right, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video, probably next week. All right, stay tuned. Peace. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely.